Welcome back to another episode of Business Highlight, a show by the Boca Raton Tribune. In Business Highlight, we talk to local business professionals and highlight their companies or nonprofits to our viewers. I'm your host, Pedro, but before we get started, make sure to follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. They're all Boca Tribune. You see that at the bottom right there. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Richard Siegel, the founder of shopdelboca.com. Richard, how are you doing today? Doing great, Pedro. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, great to have you. So for those that don't know, uh, introduce yourself. Tell us um, how long you've been in, uh, in the area and things like that. Well, uh, I've uh, been in the South Florida area uh, since roughly about uh, 2011. I've uh, been in the Boca Raton area and have started uh, uh, this venture of mine, shopdelboca.com, yeah. um, in um, – Last fall, uh, during the well, the peak of the pandemic, I guess you would say. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, um, but uh, know the area well, love the area. I, you know, I frequent a lot of the uh, local popular spots, as many do. The Delray area, Coral Springs, uh, love the beach. Um, just love the area in general. Uh, yeah. Love the vibrancy. You know, that so much life down here. Uh-huh. Uh, people are are busy. Uh, it's like it's. Uh, one of the few areas of the country that seems reasonably normal, you know, compared to <laughs> when you see things going on in other places. So, yeah. So, so you started this. So when did you actually start the website shop del Boca? It started, uh, officially kicked off, uh, October 1st of, okay. uh, of last year. And, uh, really, uh, in earnest started really, uh, working it hard. Um, probably after the holidays, just trying to, you know, letting people settle into the new year. And, uh, you know, we're, it, we're, we're, we're getting some, uh, some things done. Uh-huh. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it, it's, I won't lie. It's a challenging environment. Right. Uh, but, um, I think there's a real need for what I do and I, I have a, quite a diverse, um, mix of clients so far. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it, it, it really doesn't have any one specific purpose as far as who we're marketing and who we're promoting. Right. But we're really trying to build this out to be a uh, kind of a uh, marketplace of all kinds of vendors and practitioners and um, even people with podcasts, you know, that have an right. opinion to express. And mm-hmm. we're, we're um, apolitical. So we welcome all. Uh, all. All viewpoints are welcome and yeah. um, and all businesses are welcome uh, with with. Some notable exceptions that you know, which <laughs> <laughs> really don't meet, need to be you know mentioned. Right. But <laughs> you know, you know. So, how did the idea for the website come come about? Well, um, it, it it sort of grew out of uh, a desire because uh, of of having a background in sales and marketing, and I've owned businesses in the past. I was in the fitness industry for about twenty years. Owned, uh-huh. um, actually, used to manufacture a product that I sold into the industry. Uh, and so I, I um, really have dealt with uh, large and small, uh, from private business to mom and pops to uh, large government institutions and uh, military. So I've 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 kind of run the gamut, and I've uh, I kind of see that there's just a great need when you um, go to market a product or service yeah. that you really want to um, introduce yourself and explain in great detail what the product is. And give a little personality behind it, so you're not just selling a stark cold product. You're actually meeting the vendor. You're getting to know them. Uh-huh. And what my website uh, does is it introduces my client with a full profile, which gives them a chance to introduce themselves while showing their products, while um, also uh, offering specials and promotions, and with all the usual um, pass-through contact info and links to social media mapping and such, you know, things that you'll see on many other like, uh, products out there, um, you know, that people use for search and browse, but yeah. we just have a little, like we take the next level. We, we kind of personalize the experience and, um, it allows the uh, client itself to interact in their own profile. So they're able to change their, their look or their message at will mm-hmm. to meet the changing you know, dynamics of the time of year, right. um, if, if they're changing or if they've got something new. So it's not like it's just a set fixed 
vision that people see. It's interactive. It's really what it is. Okay. Um, it isn't an e-commerce in the sense that I'm not selling anything to anyone through the website. That's that's the job of the clients themselves. This is kind of like an introduction service. Next level from my introduction is to contact the client directly, and, there, mm -hmm. and you have all the all the ways to do that through their profile. Right. And so it's it's much more than just an, an, an event website, right? Correct. Correct. I mean, we, we uh, have restaurants, we have uh, health um, care providers, uh, we have uh, some uh, fitness centers, some local gyms, some personal trainers. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's really it's, and, and realtors, of course. And, you know, it's like just imagine, you know, the um, the variety of commerce that exists in any given area, we welcome it all here and to have people on the site to, you know, once we draw the traffic into the site, they can open it up and there's no one specific thing that they're going to see unless they specifically search for it. And of yeah. course the tools to do that are on the site as well. But if you just go on the site and scroll, you'll see, it'll be a very diverse mix of, of profiles, which gives it kind of a, a flavor of a variety. Mm -hmm. And as we grow it, um, we expect it to become a very broad marketplace of all kinds of vendors selling and promoting and offering services and um, and you know and and we'll see where it goes from there. It's uh, we're early days right now, as I like to say. Yeah. So so what sets your website apart from the other ones around that that, look, that kind of probably would do the same thing? Well, I, I think uh, primarily what I at least I think is the X factor is uh -huh. my, is myself. Um, because while I obviously are trying to get people to come on the site and promote their products right. and services, what I do is I take it to the next level. I am actively engaged in Facebook and in Instagram with my advertising campaigns and my own, uh, personal posting into, I have it la last count 18 Facebook groups that I'm an active member in. So yeah. when someone becomes a client of mine, I am actively promoting them into these Facebook groups by introducing them as a member of the site and also giving a little quick little synopsis of what they do and why they're important, why you should go check them out. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, I, I recently posted a um, commentary from a very well-known financial planner who's been on CNBC, Fox Business. He did a January kind of update about the bond market. And I sent that out. It reached close to 40,000 people. Wow. With all the groups I hit. And then I yeah. see the likes from the posts coming in from all these various groups. People like, because now it's all a numbers game. So when you throw it out to 40,000 people, are 40,000 people necessarily seeing it? Right. I was probably not. Mm -hmm. But if you just get your fair share of your usual percentage, that is being seen. And that is a very valuable introduction for that particular client because, mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's a person who has assets under management. That's his service. If he lands one client from someone seeing him who's never heard of him before and reads his commentary, then clicks through to his website and, it, and becomes a client, well, that has now, well, it's blown away his expectations on uh, return on investment for what, he, for what I charge anyway. My, right. so my, my rates are extremely reasonable, and I, I, look, I try to present a value proposition that people will say, well, I'm not charging them an arm and a leg, but mm -hmm. when they see what they're getting and what they could potentially get for the investment. I, I want it to be such, in such a case where they tell their friends and go, well, you know, I, I'm on this guy's site and I never would have believed it, but I've just got this client or I just got a listing, you know, if you're a realtor and it just paid for my subscription for five years. Right. You know? right. So it's, it's that kind of scenario that I'm trying to present that I'm, you know, you're not, I'm not, they, they, they know by what I'm charging that I'm not getting, wealthy on any one client it's all about the numbers it's about it's about having a broad mix and building this out because i in in reading the pre-interview you know you had one of the questions was where do you see this in five years well in yeah. five years i would like to see this be in the um you know the 500 to maybe 750 profiles listed and while that might be a might seem like a bad thing if you're in there because oh now i'll get lost in the sauce kind of thing that's really not the case because the bigger it becomes, the more traffic, the more popular it will become. And you'll just have that many more sets of eyeballs looking at your profile as they scroll through and we get known and we, you know, get with all the various ways we're advertising, we're doing a Facebook ad, 
campaign, which will get us to you know the whole area. While we're called Shop Del Boca, which implies Del Delray Beach and Boca Raton, we're right. really we're really like Northern Broward, Southern Palm Beach County, all the way out to the Coral Springs area, Coconut Creek. It's really the whole area. We're not really mm-hmm. we're not focusing in this little narrow band along the water. It's really meant to be like the Deerfield Beach, Pompano. We have uh, profile members on here that are from the whole area and they serve as the whole area. But um, you know, it's it just sort of uh, the name kind of flowed and. And that's so. So I, that, that's something I always like to point out to people that you know it, it's like, well, what if I'm in Coral Springs or I'm in Boynton right. Beach? Does that does that you know um, you know preclude me from being in the mix? Like, of course not, because mm-hmm. everybody travels around. These are short little shots in the car. You know, we all go back yeah. and forth. So, but um, shopdelboca.com is just the. It's supposed to roll off the tongue a little bit. <laughs> right. I, hope it, I hope it does. <laughs> no, for sure. So you started this, you said, in October of 2020, in the high, as we mentioned, the height of the pandemic. How has COVID-19 affected the website, and what have you done to kind of like, you know, roll with the punches or make lemonade out of lemons? Ah, well, well, I, I can I can say first off, I've I've um, reined in my expectations on what I could expect to charge. Mm-hmm. Because I understand that, like many of the uh, uh, independent businesses out here, especially in the food industry, uh, they're facing a lot of challenges. Right. Uh, they have uh, restrictions on how many people they can see. Um, you, you know, all the extra costs about you know providing sanitary um, environments and cleaning and all that. So I understand that budgets are stressed right now and profitability is uh, is down. I in, I spoken to two of my gym clients and their uh, their foot traffic daily visits. Is down 50% from their peak. So, mm. and we know that, you know, sadly, um, a lot of people are probably quitting their gyms because they, uh, whatever the experience isn't the same for them. So they're operating with less revenue. So, again, I, again, take that in mind, understanding that I cannot charge a, a top premium dollar for this. I've got to get people to understand that, you know, there will come a day when hopefully everything's back to normal and then maybe things will have to, uh, you know, maybe we'll adjust things a little bit as we go. But I'm operating under the um, assumption that there, um, you know, there's limited funds for marketing. Yeah. But you have to market. You you have to advertise. It's 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 a necessity of being a business. So if I can offer a great, like I said, value proposition, that's what I'm hoping to do. So I, I'm I'm very mindful that people are under the gun right now. It seems like it's normal because there's a lot of cars on the road and restaurants <laughs> are full. But we we know we know we we've seen some of the some of the storefronts and. You know, right. sadly, some people have closed and, and so, but, you know, so that's, that's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is that, um, it seems like there's a lot of new, um, awareness to, um, maybe, uh, fitness and nutrition and stuff like that. So I've kind of gone in the direction of trying to bring in people that have, uh, products that kind of fit, you know, the need for today with, um, cleaning environments. I have a um, company that, that sells antibacterial wipes on here, a great right. product. Um, I've got a couple of people that are really big into nutrition and uh, um, uh, a fitness trainer who does uh, really great things with um, selling supplements and, mm-hmm. and, and just like lifestyle enhancement and stuff like that. And another uh, client that just came on that um, is doing all kinds of uh, bio testing and uh, IV vitamin therapy for just helping people build up their immune system. So it's really kind of trying to uh, go with the flow and, and understand that there's things that have become more and more important this past year than probably ever before. Right. And so if, if they're part of the mix, that's great. And I encourage others to join on and be part of this, this growth story. I mean, that's, that's my, my goal is to grow this thing uh, rapidly, but, uh, but carefully um, not letting it get too, heavily heavily weighted in one area or, or another just uh i hope that hope that sort of answers that question <laughs> no yeah for <laughs> sure so I guess, I guess you know i guess a perfect segue to how can like our listeners log in and and join into the the site well sure well the uh the website address is uh www.shopdelboca del with one l dot com mm-hmm. uh right. my, my my local phone number is 561-717 nine zero one one i can also be reached by email at shopdelboca at yahoo.com um, i'm on facebook uh, i have a facebook uh, page uh shopdelboca.com as well and i also have an instagram page uh also shopdelboca.com 
And uh, so you, you'll, you'll see some of our vendors on there. Every time that they update one of their profiles, I'll instantly update that update onto my page. So right. you'll see how things are kind of organic, how they start and they change and they adapt and they, you know, w with the uh, members themselves as they uh, change their marketing message, it'll be updated on my site as well because they all do multiple things. I mean, they all have multiple uh, marketing strategies. So I'm just mm -hmm. part of the mix. I'm, I'm right, like, yeah. what I like to say is I'm like, I'm just another layering on of what they're already doing. And at the prices that I charge, it's so minimal that it's really just, it's not even, you don't even think twice about it because I can add on just, you know, that extra click or two to a website, um, additional phone call, maybe a walk in. Um, mm -hmm. One of my greatest assets or tools that I have on the site are, are digital coupons. And what that allows my uh, clients to do, if they have a product that can be discounted or sold that way, you know, sometimes a doctor doesn't have a, you don't have a sale on, you know, on, on, on you know, examinations and stuff like that. But if you're, <laughs> yeah. if you have the kind of business like, like, like a restaurant that wants to offer like happy hour discounts or whatever, it's a, a Italian place, a pizza place. Um, we, we actually have digital coupons on their profile, which can then be, uh, of course, accessed in the profile, but they can also be emailed directly to existing clients of theirs. So they have an email list. If they want to promote something, they can take a digital coupon and they can email it right to their customer and it'll, It'll be a um, an email saying from shopdelboca.com, and you'll see prominently displayed in the email a right. picture of the vendor's profile and the promotion. And they mm -hmm. click on the coupon, and that brings them to their profile on our website, which then opens up all their other coupons and other promotions, and again reintroduces you. If not if if not for the first time, you're kind of seeing them again, and you're seeing what's new. And it's just a great way. It's a great marketing tool that um, just allows you to kind of, as opposed to the old, you know, value pack that you'd get in the mail, you'd open it up and you'd page through 30 coupons, you'd throw them away because honestly, you know, you just, you don't even, you're not even reading them at that point. You're just kind of going right. through them. This is more personalized. It's, 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 you can see your email it opens up and it's a really bright presentation. You see the colorful logo mm -hmm. that, you know, my, my, uh, my colorful logo, as you can see, there you go. <laughs> you know, so that'll be on the, that'll be in the top of the email. And then in the body of the email, you'll see a picture of the, of the vendor, their profile, mm -hmm. and then the detail of the coupon. And it's all click throughs. So you just click right through to the website. You can click right. click right through to the, to the coupon itself. It opens up. It's just kind of a cool way to, uh, you know, do some extra next level marketing to, mm -hmm. to your clients. It's a way to reach out. And it, I, I, I promote this a lot. I just think I really try to emphasize to my, my clients to to use this tool because I can do it for them and I and I do often do it. What I have is a section on my website called coupons and deals. So I will take that and I will send that into a Facebook group and the motion. It'll be a scroll through. You'll see you'll see all, it's, it's like getting a value pack, but right. virtually. Yeah. So you'll see and you'll be and you'll be able to click on it any one at any at any time. So I do that on a regular basis, but I encourage my clients to use their own profiles and do that themselves. They can go in and they can interact and they can also go into their profiles through the back door, which they get a password. They can go in and change anything at any time as often as they want. So unlike like website design people, there aren't any additional upcharges or computer time where you go in, Oh, I want to change. I want to remove this, add this. And they'll say, okay, that's fine. It'll cost you whatever $75, because a half hour of my time, none of that. Yeah. You pay one flat fee. You go in. You can make changes, or you can contact me, and I can make the changes for you. It, I, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it works either way. I, again, there's no additional upcharges for that. Right. Cool. Uh, well, uh, Richard, before I let you go, I ask this question to everyone that comes on the show, so you're not going to be any different. <laughs> what is okay. some advice that you give? What's some advice you would give someone looking to start their own business or their own website? Um, what would you give them as, as like one piece of advice? Be persistent mm -hmm. and maybe, and, and patient and understand that um, you don't hit a home run every day and <laughs> that you, you, you have to uh, understand that, you know, with any kind of sales or any kind of business, there is going to be peaks and valleys, but uh, s stick with it, stay with it. Uh, don't quit. Don't give up. You know, if you if you believe in your idea, your concept, um, your job is to make others believe it as well. And right. 
um, if you just, uh, again, stay, you know, stay persistent, um, keep plugging away. Um, the room wasn't built in a day, right? As the saying mm -hmm. goes. So yeah. that's what I would just say. Don't give up. Um, just believe in, believe in yourself, believe in your concept. And, uh, and I, I'm, I'm sure things will, things will work out. Things will get to where the, if, if it's meant to be, it'll, it'll happen. Right. Right. Some great advice, Richard. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, guys, we're talking to Richard. See, you're the founder of shopdelboca.com. If you want more information, head over to our website, shopdelboca.com. Richard, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> you bet, Pedro. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, that's going to wrap it up for us today at Business Highlight. I hope you found this episode informative. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like it, share it, follow it on your pages. Um, it, those, those links are right there below, Boca Tribune on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even YouTube. Yeah, so tune back next week as we talk to another local business owner in the community. Until then, thank you for joining us, and I hope you have an awesome weekend. Take care now.